Good morning guys, it's me again, Jenny from Just Jenny Journaling. Welcome back to my channel. Today it's going to be a, a little bit of a sort of a journey with me and to create something um, video, a little bit different. Um, I do need a new day book uh, and the one that I made last time from the coffee box ran out in August and I haven't had time to make another one um, so I just had a quick uh, an idea really I had this little cover that I'd kind of semi prepared um, a few months ago and I kind of bagsied it for my new day book um, and I thought that I would use um, a technique I've seen I think many people have done it but I've recently watched a video by Debbie from Ephemera's Vintage Garden where she used some twine to basically um, insert her signatures into her into her book. It'd be quite quick to do that and a little bit different and so I thought I'd experiment with these five signatures that I've put together because I've missed September now. I'm going to do this one from uh, October, this day book, October, November, December, January, February. Um, so rather than six, I'm going to have five signatures in this one and then it will be spring and summer for my, for my next one. Um, so I'm going to try to, uh, I will link the Ephemera's Vintage Garden um, video, Easy Twine, I think it's called, um, signature insert thing. I'll link it below for you to have a look at. Um, I have tried it. I've tried it with this elastic, which worked really well. Um, but, and it was able, I was able to get the signatures in and out quite quick, um, easily if I wanted to work on them, but it's a bit bulky on the back. So to start with, all I'm going to go f have is um, I've got my book. I'm going to use this all just to try and uh, if I need it and some tweezers to try and grab the uh, twine at the end when we're trying to um, tie it off. So some signatures on, on the way here. I haven't measured it, but I've wrapped it around five times so I know that um, it's long enough to um go around five times on the inside and i've got some excess to to um to play with as well so i'll start here i can see the this and i'll just wrap it around five times so one excuse my tummy i haven't had breakfast yet two three four five so let's just check that on the inside we have our five signatures uh, our five one two three four five we do indeedy I wonder if that's going to be long enough for that it's quite long on that side then what she did was see so she got the two ends and kind of twisted them over like that I think and then yeah so you twist them around to the opposite ends and then what she did was she got hold of this corner one or one of them and then brought it underneath so that it's just on the one side okay so I brought it and then she knotted it so I think I'll do a loose that make quite a nice because I might have to adjust them again so I'm going to do a loose knot initially shall I what do you think oh, I don't know. Okay, and then got to kind of rearrange, make sure that your signatures are all straight. So let's have a look at this. What's going on with that one there? 
That should be on that side, shouldn't it? By the looks of it. Yeah. So we've got five strings, one for each signature. Do excuse the centre of this here. Okay. All right. This because this is, as I say, it's not. It's barely dressed. So what I will do is some um, as I decorate the uh, front. Well, I'll decorate the rest of the journal. I'll try and turn the camera on, and um, we can go through that together. So the first thing you do, so I'll make sure there's a little bit, there's a quite a bit of give really. I'm going to get the signatures in and then what I'll probably do is readjust it. So she starts from the back like you normally do when you're sewing signatures in. You place your signature. So this will be, it's going to be February. So I'm going to pop that in. Am I still in frame? Yeah, I am. It is quite loose to be fair. So, but we'll pop it in. So that's February, and then I'll see how easy it is to adjust from the back again once the signatures are in, or whether we have to take it all to bits and redo it, I don't know. This is my January, okay, so let's pop that in. Still in frame, yep, yeah. January. Maybe I should have put a clip on that one. Let's put it on like that. Still in frame, yeah, vaguely. Let's pop that up there. Uh, what she suggested was if it got difficult to remove some of the bulk of the signatures as you're putting them in and add them a bit later which I might have to do no I might do that with this I'll pop that in a bit later ah that's caught there that's why oh let's see how this works guys let's see how this works We'll learn together. Right, that needs to go under. That's kind of caught as well. So perhaps I should have clipped my signatures like I would normally do when I'm sewing them in. No, nope. that's what we're going to have to need, need to have to do. So note to self and to you guys: make sure you secure your signatures pinned before you start trying to pop them in. We will get there I'm sure. Right, particularly on this end. Right, let's try again. Let's try again. That's gonna be a bit tricky but we will make it I'm sure. Yeah. Once that's in I think I might just get away with Will I? Just get away with that for January. Taking that out. That's January. Might get a big bulldog clip to hold that, I think. There we go. What, what really appealed to me about this um, was that it would be quite quick to do. And although uh, December, with my first day book, I made a point of decorating every page. Well, I think I decorated the first four signatures before I popped everything in. And it took me ages to do to complete it. And then I went back in throughout the year and I still added um, towards the end I added other signatures um, other embellishments to the different signatures and so this time round I thought what I would try and do 
is what um, I watch different people in their own journals who, um, for instance, some people uh, journal and embellish their pages on a daily basis. Some people do it weekly or some people put a, a, a weekly uh, spread together and then as they go, how's that, how's that looking, how's that looking? Let's move that over there for a bit. Yeah, they put a weekly spread together and then I embellish daily as they journal. So I just thought what I'd probably do is um, do it month by month. So do a, a basic decorate at the beginning of the month um, of the book, of the signature for the month. And that way I can actually pop little, any new bits and pieces that I've found, I can pop them in. I'm going to probably number some of the pages, I think, and do little, um, that is quite tricky, journal with me. And I really look forward to doing that because um, every day I get inspired by different people using um, fabrics and all sorts of things to um, journal, to decorate their journals. And when you're out and about, you find new things or things that perhaps you remember from a, a memento, from a certain day, from a trip or a gift or a card that a friend gives you. Um, so it'd be really nice to um, make my day book. And I'll probably, last year it was mainly for uh, daily appointments and different friends I was meeting up with and who I'd seen, etc, etc. Um, and I might just make, use this for a little bit more than that this year. But it'll be by my bed will be by my bed um, like my last one oh, to pop notes in as I go so God, I think we've done it I think we've done it I think apart from my January I think it's my January centre but I'm gonna I shall battle with that afterwards so guys, this week's my first time, there you go, with the no sew, entering the signatures, it's a bit odd I know, um, I've started my autumn because I love this um, graphic 45 colour, um, colours, but it doesn't really go with the pinks and things from the cover and the inside page, so I'm going to decorate that. Um, accordingly I have this image that I've used on um, if you can see it but I cut it out round I'm not sure I'm going to use it round now but we'll see I'll probably pop the camera on as I do that um, but as you can see it seems to be okay the pages can move up and down as well um, what's that one have I done Mix them up a little bit. So, yeah, I've got them in the right order. I'm a little bit battered, but never mind. That's that. And what I'm probably going to do, I'm not sure yet whether I want to add this little piece of, um, this is like a vintage bracelet um, on there, or whether I'm going to use just one of my normal. Um, type dangles or oh, use something like that I'm not sure although this I quite fancy to decorate the front this little it's like a little earring and I've used one already but I think that could be really nice with some lace anyway I'm going to go in a minute because um, this I want this to be less than 15 minutes it's so much easier to upload so there you guys go, go guys that's the first the first one if you like, subscribe and, and, and enjoy. And if you get a chance to try this yourself, let me know. I'll link other videos below. Take care. Bye.